Hi, uh, I've been asked by popular demand uh, to make some more bread. I uh, don't know why, but anyway, we'll make some more bread. Um, so this time, we'll make it a little easier than the last one. I won't make sourdough, I'll make bread that actually has yeast in it, and we'll do it in a machine. So let me uh, turn this around. Can I turn this around? Turn this around. No, I won't turn it around. Okay, I have to stop it and then turn it around. Okay, we're now turn this around. This is sort of what the table looks like, but we'll come over here and grab the machine. Ah, a bread making machine. Thank you. Let me put this over here. Notice I have a holder. Whoops, fell off. Sorry. Yeah, on the thing. Yeah, Lord. Ah, well, whoops, that doesn't work. Okay, video turning around. What I'm going to do is get the bread machine and over here. No, machine is here. Thank you. And I have a plug over here somewhere. Oh my God! It actually it actually reaches it. Yeah. Okay. We're in. So now we have bread making machine. Open up a little dusty. Take this thing out. I show you. Yeah. No. Oh. Over to here. Uh, it's so much easier when you got something to throw her into. What I've got here is I've got the uh, camera now mounted so it won't fall over anymore. Got one of these things, and one of these things buckets. And first thing you gotta do is throw a little oil, even though it's a Teflon thingy. And take off the ring and the watch and this is so you can get flour all over your sweater uh, should take this off all right now need to put some oil on the interior of this so it don't stick after it is done and put some oil on the little sprockety thingy here, uh, which goes around. Then I guess what we do is we take a look at the menu book that has now disappeared. Where did the menu book go? Uh, I did have a menu book, it was here always, which is now no longer around. I have to go find the menu book to find out what the menu is. Be right back. Okay, found the menu book in a place where I wasn't supposed to be able to find it, but I found it anyway. Ah, ah. All right. What are we going to make? Classic white bread. 100% whole wheat bread. Maple walnut. Oh, that looks good. We'll try classic white bread. Should do it. I think this one does not even change. Yeah, you know, water. Um, uh, milk. Classic white bread uses milk. This one uses water. We'll use water, which is the bread recipe. Active dry yeast. Ah, uh, it's an actual dry traditional. Whoop, wrong stuff. This one, bread machine stuff. Use the bread machine stuff because uh, it seems to taste better. How much do we need? Active dry yeast. One and a half teaspoons. Teaspoons or tablespoons? Teaspoons. Uh, make a mistake there, you make a mess. All right, teaspoon. Ah. Hands are all covered with oil. Sigh. One. Ah, close enough. And a half. Do we have a half? Quarter. Half. Yes, there we go. Mm, half, just to see what it looks like. Yeah, it looks like that. Anyway, there we go. One and a half. A bread flour. One and a half, directive leaf, one and a half, right. Uh, bread flour, three cups. All right. Get a chair. Flour, three cups. Do I now need the cup measuring device? 
Now, cup measuring device. Three cup. One. Gadunk. Oh. Gadunk. All right, change flowers. We're gonna put some. I got some better flour over here. There's all wheat flour. Oh, sprouted germ flour. All right, get back. Okay, we'll try sprouted germ flour. Uh, sprouted, uh, sprouted, some of their other flour. Sprouted germ flour. Oh, it's got germs in it. Okay, this will have not a cup of this, but this one, I can't stick the thing in the what. So we'll have to pour it. Carefully, yeah, I'm careful. Alright. Okay. Okay, okay that's got the flour in. Three cups, granulated sugar, two two, two tablespoons. I usually use half a cup. Okay, two tablespoons. Back. One. Close enough. Two. Why, but the tablespoon measure is kind of busted and broke, but man, good enough. Um, salt, salt. Did I put in salt? No, one and a quarter, uh, one and a quarter teaspoons. That's a lot. One and a quarter teaspoons. Ah, uh, it's one quarter teaspoons. That should be enough, right? It's got salt, non fat dry milk, two tablespoons. Non fat dry milk. Oh my god. One fat dry milk. Two tablespoons. Open. All right. Two tablespoons. Do I have another measuring device thingy? Yes. I got it. Probably was deliberately hidden. Are these tablespoons? They should be. Yes. Two tablespoons of this item. All right. That's this. Oh. Oh. Okay. Two tablespoons of the thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, non-fat dry, uh, margarine, butter, yeah, throw, no, back where it belongs, I think it oh, belongs everywhere in there, okay, uh, non-fat dry milk, sweet butter, margarine, what do we got here, how much, oh, careful of that, ah, butter, open this thing, yeah, 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 uh, open, 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 open. Okay, over here. Arc. Arc. Ah, good enough. Back in. Butter. I should actually have this farther away so you can see more of what's happening. That thing's gonna fall over, I know it is. Okay, don't fall over. Right, butter. There somewhere. How much? Tablespoon? Sweet butter margarine, one tablespoon. <laughs> right. Yeah, we'll do it this side. Yeah, close enough. All right. Butter. Uh, I need a, what's it? Down there, in the dishwasher. Whoa, back. Back. I don't see anything. Okay, for some reason I can't see anything. <sighs> that thing's going to have to be melted a little bit. Now, where's something in which I can melt it? A glass will do. Pop that in there. Ah, 10 seconds. Time cook. 10. Start. Zoom. Okay. Now, water, I need one and a quart. One and a quarter cup less one tablespoon. Sure. Thank you. Butter. Close enough. Wash <clears throat> the cup out. Uh, water. Let's say one and a quarter. Back in a flash. One. Do 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 do. Uh, slide over here. Uh, 
quarter. Half. Right for quarter. Quarter's around here. A quarter. Minus. Tablespoon. Quarter. Yeah, close enough. Uh, minus a quarter. Give it to me. Okay. There you have it. Isn't that marvelous? All right. <coughs> yeah, it's, you know, one or one and a quarter. Uh, normal setting, press start, and all sorts of other nice things. So, put another over here. And it should just sit nicely in here. Get in there. Didn't work there. Yes, that should work. Excuse me, I'm going to wrestle with my bread machine for a while. Get in there. Arr, okay. Over to here. Close that up. Uh, can you see it? Probably not. Good. Uh, uh, capacity. Two pound. One pound. One and a half pound. Two pounds. This is supposed to be one and a half pounds. Medium. Two pounds. Baking. Dark. Light, medium ought to do it. Timer, four hours, no, two and a half, no. Do capacity. Timer, select. What's this timer thing do? I don't like that. All right, <clears throat> turn it off and turn it back on again. All right. Yeah, I didn't do a thing. Okay. <sighs> Two pounds. I think it's supposed to be one and a half pounds. Need rise. How about we select? Start. Timer. Oh, that's in when you want it done. Select. Does not stop. 310. Basic. Oh, it's 310 now. How nice. Um, <laughs> sorry. Two pounds. Oh, we have it. The one and a half pounds. Select. Sweet. Whole wheat. Dough. Rapid. French. Basic. Sweet. We'll do it for whole wheat. One and a half pounds. Done. Oh, that's it. It's going to now knead it. And it should start bouncing around in a second because it does that while it's trying to knead it. We now take the book and put it back where it belongs so that we can pretend that I never knew where it was in the first place. That goes on. It's telling me I'm not going to do anything you want so I can't mess it up. Oh. Cloth, let flour off the chair so I can sit in it without having a nice white patch on my butt. Okay, there you go. That thing will run, and when it's finished, I'll uh, take it out and try. Well, uh, I managed to read the uh, instructions again, and just for kicks, it's sitting there warming up. Takes five, it'll warm it for about five minutes before the kneading starts. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop it and, and I'll throw some raisins in it. Uh, okay. And it's way down the other end. Press stop. Thank you. And actually stopped it. Art. Right. Run back over to the bench. And let's see if I've got any raisins. I have any raisins. Raisins. Ah. Oh God, raisins. I will very carefully measure some raisins to go in here. Uh, do it. Okay, I like that. So now I'm going to restart it and add it back in. So we'll take this uh, down here. Selected capacity, yeah, that looks good. 
sit there and warm it for about five minutes before it goes on. I'm glad you could see what that looked like. Um, okay, catch you later when it finishes baking. Okay, anyway, while the bread is baking, I'll do some Chinese brush painting. Basically, this is how you have a thing, stone, it's called. We just measure it's a dish, and this is uh, some ink, and you grind the ink into Grind the ink into the stone. It's supposed to be relaxing, I guess. Now, as we contemplate and meditate on life, the universe, and everything, a lot of people wonder, Bruce, why don't you just buy the bottle stuff? It already comes liquid, you don't have to be doing this. I like doing this because it's like, gets you sort of more into it, I guess. And it prepares you and get into the mood. And it has to be thick enough, so you just keep doing it until it thickens up. Man, this must be exciting watching this. Man, how long does this take, bros? I don't know. Until it thickens up. Sometimes about five minutes, sometimes a couple of minutes, sometimes it doesn't take anything at all. It depends on what you're making. Uh, uh, which way the sun is shining and the price of tea in China or whatever. Uh, it's coming along. Yeah, it's doing nicely. Uh, I don't know. Alright. No, I know. Nice and thick goo happens to be an art little other thing. There it is, my little box. Throw it in my little box. <sighs> Take a brush. This looks like a good brush. And there's the painting where we're at. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. Mm. It's because I'm trying to twist it in a way that it does not want to be twisted. There we are. Doing it better? Sort of, I guess. Alright, usually I have to stand up to do this. Uh, yeah, that which is in the background. A little bit of water here to loosen it off. Give it a bit of a three dimensional thing. Hmm, that's interesting. Hmm. It's interesting, after I put some color on this and so on, and just making things here in the background, let's see another little tree that's kind of over there doing its thing, and I think afterwards we'll throw a few blossoms on that. What the heck, you know, make it all go on sort of party, I guess. And <clears throat> yeah. and the reeds over here, uh, things kind of looking. I Maybe mean, what you do with what's known as negative space, in other words, the white that leaves through that you haven't done. So now I've taken this and sort of made it look something like that. As you can see, we could sort of place branches and so on as we are uh, sort of here. Now what I'll do is I'll put some blossoms on that. Oh, I'll just try another little twig there. And what the heck, I mean, it's just a suggestion is really all that's kind of needed. And you know, where we're going with this little sort of tree, uh, wanders off, yeah, maybe a few branches over here. Just all this needs is a suggestion. Now, we'll take from this, we'll start throwing in some blossoms behind it. Okay, uh, now, in order to get some blossoms, we need a different color. All right, 
All right. Launch off the brush, try and fall down on the chair. Good. Now for blossoms, I'm going to use, we'll start off with red. Start off with a different dish. And here we got, dare I say it, some red. And then after the red, we're going to throw in some yellow. So first I need some water in here. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I do some All right. <clears throat> Lovely. Okay, red. I think grind away for a while until it. You probably want to see what I'm seeing. Probably not. I want to see what you're seeing. Arc, arc, arc. Now we watch this thing fall over. And it will get thicker and thicker and redder and redder. And as we grind it, it's beautiful orangish color. It's a lovely color. Again, I like grinding the ink because it uh, takes a while to do it, and that way, you know, it sort of slows you down. Because I find that when I'm uh, find when I'm painting, that the um, big thing is to try and slow it down because the painting goes so fast. Uh, really, you know, wherever the ink goes, it's gonna stay there, and you're not gonna be able to get it up. Well, this is starting to thicken up, so that. Yeah, it's more, it happens so fast, you kind of do it with mood more than how you think to do it. So I was just kind of jump in there and with courage, start slapping paint on the page. And it's thickening up. Yellow really is nice with this, so I'll use yellow after red, so yeah. Ah, close enough. Give me the ring. Okay. <sighs> that one's done, so now we have a rather small amount of paint that exists on the palette. Yeah, what do we do with this one? Ah, oh, throw it by its friend. It doesn't have a friend. Oh, friends, oh, you poor thing. All right. Um, now, head back over here to where the painting is. I had this over my head, and so do you, probably. Just wherever you feel like. All right. You feel there should be some of this color. And just slap some down. Uh -huh. No idea why this is or what kind of tree this is, but no, um, hey. Uh, roots up here, it's got, I guess, red leaves. I don't have any leaves, this thing. Uh, strange, it's from a different planet. Uh, right. Yeah, it looks close enough. All right, how's the bread doing? Lord knows. Uh, yeah, all right, we got that happening, that happening. A little bit more here and here. Okay, now we'll throw some yellow on that. Mm. Wash the brush off. And we'll basically throw the red in here. It actually looks kind of oranges. Yeah. <coughs> Now he's got to clean your stone, so. All right. Arc. Again. <sighs> Good. We have a nice clean stone. Arc, arc. Back. Hi. Already here. Yeah. Now we have the stone. A little bit of water in it. A little water in it. Too much. All right. Too long to grind. Okay, we take some yellow. This is yellow. And we grind it until 
it makes this yellow pasty thing Not really pretty and nice all right I'll just throw the stand right all right looks pretty good move it out here yeah we can see that it's starting to turn nice and yellow it needs to be thick enough so that it kind of exposes the floor of the stone, of the grinding part on the stone, while you're doing each stroke. And when it does that for a bit, you know you've gotten it uh, thick enough. So the longer you do this, the thicker it gets, and it's starting to thicken up pretty good right now. I don't know what it is about the yellow stick, it seems to grind a little faster. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Done. Mm, seems to be quick. A little water in there I don't want. Oh, I'll just move it out with my finger. Okay. Moving this around. Now I'll toss this in. Getting yellow all over my hands. Okay, now we have yellow inside the hoodicky, and then just pour it out basically and place that over here with his friend. We have a friend now, all right. And bring it over to here. And now Oh, not so. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I'll just throw some sort of yellow in around with it. Uh, people won't know what I'm doing. I need some splash of yellow over here. So sort of wherever there's orange, we'll just throw in a bit. Uh, what's known as red it was orange. All right, uh, in here. And over to where we are, and back here a little bit. Yeah, 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 it's not bad. I'll turn a little yellow over there, and a few blobs there, and I'm gonna buy that. Good, done. And that black should be coming out more. I don't like where that black is at, so we'll try and rescue this. I don't think if I'm gonna say that. Oh, I might be able to, if this is just, uh, now we're down, and now up through, now more pronounced, all right, and there's a, a tree that was right here, all right, now it's now starting to look a little better, all right, yeah, uh, close enough. Yeah, 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 those things go in a bad. Okay, that's now kind of more where it is, sort of thing. A little bit of stuff on it. Good, that'll do me for now, and that way I can go have a cup of tea and wait for the bread. Okay, the bread machine is now saying that it's complete, so I'll go over and pull it out. I'll always take a towel with you, or oven mitts, because it's going to be hot. I've got it hidden over in the corner here. Work. Yeah. Uh, okay, bread in a bucket. Oh, something like this. Except you can't see it. Art, art. Yeah. That is the fun part where I gotta take the bread out of here. Now it's supposed to just slide out. But this type of uh, flour may not allow that to happen. Open up. Oh it did. It came up nicely. So there we go. A little bit of a hole in the end. There's bread. Looks something like that. Well, there you go. So we made some bread. Here's your bread machine. That's kind of how it's done. 
Uh, we've got the hole in there. There we go. There we go. No. All right. We got to dig this out. There is a. I uh, oh, like cool. Ouch. Um, yeah. So that's in the bucket. The little thing in the bucket is still stuck in there, but it'll come out when it cools. I'll just be able to take it out. It's not a bad loaf of bread. That looks okay. It's a nice small loaf of bread. And it's probably beautifully done. And basically, we'll just let that cool for a bit. After it cools, I'll be able to take slices of it. And see the raisins and everything's nicely done. A little bit of raisin bread. Okay, so there you go. Spike's there.